in my DVD set, I show you guys what plants are good for what conditions. But in a lot of the plants you can just eat or just make tea out of. But I'm going to show you how to make a powder out of plants straight from nature. Because a lot of you guys, you know, you get, you go to a store, you get the powders, and I'm going to show you how I do it myself. I'm not saying you have to do it this way, but it's the way I do it and it's pretty darn easy. Now the two plants that I'm going to show you today are... They're local plants that I just went out and got on my own. The first one is Silk Tassel. This is a really good smooth muscle relaxer and it's very powerful for anybody who has menstrual cramps. Just a half a teaspoon of this stuff will knock out your menstrual cramps, even the worst, for up to 10 hours. So half a day knocked out with just half a teaspoon of this stuff here. The other plant I'm going to be showing you is Manzanita. This stuff is really, this is awesome. This is really good for kidneys, for bladders, for urinary tract infections. Now, if you go to a normal health food store and you go get something for those conditions, it's usually Uva Ursi is the plant that's in those, those formulas. Now, this is in the Uva Ursi family, but Uva Ursi only has two aglycones, which are the active constituents, which make it do its thing. This has 14 aglycones, which is seven times more powerful. Now, the cool thing about this plant is it doesn't do anything until they actually gets in your kidneys, at which point when it's in your kidneys, it splits, releasing hydroquinone, which is a natural antibiotic, antiseptic, which kills anything that is, doesn't belong in your kidneys, in your bladders, and in your urinary tract. This stuff is amazing. It's like it's made for your kidneys. It actually knows when it's in your kidneys, and then it goes to work. And the antibiotic that it releases is a natural antibiotic. It doesn't ruin your immune system like the stuff that you get from the pharmacy. This is natural, and it's really good for you. Anyway, so getting on with how I make powders out of this stuff. It's really easy and you'll laugh at this, it's kind of funny. Now these branches are really hard, you can actually hurt yourself. They're really, really hard and sharp. And um, those, the leaves have power in them, the branches have more power, and the roots have even more power. So the lower you go on the plant, the more powerful it is. But we're gonna just focus on the leaves and the branches right now. So what I do, Get a Vitamix. Now, you gotta have a real powerful blender for this, otherwise you're, you're, this isn't gonna work. Those of you who have a Vitamix, be thankful, because this thing will chop rocks. Um, the Blendtec's probably gonna do it too. I don't know about Montel's, but the Vitamix for sure. This thing's awesome. So, anyway, this is what I do. I just break off the branches, leaves and everything. Now, I make sure they're really dry. If they're still kind of wet and moist, like when you pick them, they're not going to do much. Maybe give you some mushy tea type stuff, but if they're really dry and brittle, then you're ready to go. So the way to do it is you have it lie on the like just lie on the floor in your room somewhere. You don't need a dehydrator or anything. Just just lie it on the surface in your house where it naturally just dries over like a week or so. Then when it gets really brittle, then you, you're ready to go. So you just break off the branches. And if you're making tea, put the branches in too, because it's it's just, I mean, the whole plant is good for you. And uh, if you soak it, if you, and then another way to help break the cell walls is if you don't have time to dry it naturally, like, you know, in, in your room for a week, put it in the freezer. In the freezer, it helps break the cell walls open and within like an hour, you're ready to go. But uh, it won't dry it out as much, but it'll break the cell walls at least. And you'll get a lot more of the active constituents, which help heal you. So, I'll bet most of you have never used a Vitamix blender for something like this before, but that's why I'm here to educate you. You can smell that, that herb just, wow, that's powerful. Now the Vitamix chops it up pretty good. There's still some uh, smaller pieces. I mean, it, it's bigger blades. So now what I do is I transfer it to something that's smaller, namely a coffee grinder. The Vitamix does all the heavy work, the hard work. And then I transfer the stuff into a coffee grinder. Now you get a strainer and you notice those chunks in there. There's a lot of fine powder, a lot of medium sized powder, and then some chunks. 
So what I do is now it's time to get my cornstarch spoon. This is non-metallic. I know the strainer is metallic, but I try to minimize the, the metal contact. And you can notice what's coming out the bottom. A fine, fine powder. That's what goes into your capsules if you're making them or into your water if you're just drinking it straight. Doesn't matter, I just drink it straight. Some people don't like the taste of some of these herbs, so they encapsulate them. It's not that hard to do. I'm gonna show you how to do it in a minute. Now what you'll, you'll see here, I've got like just some, some gravel looking stuff left. These are what used to be the branches and it's kind of hard. Now I can break this down more if I want. I can just keep going over and over until there's nothing left but powder, but I've got a lot of these branches. So anyway, you can see what's underneath. It's really cool fine powder. Keep this in another container here. So this is actually good for making tea. So you use the powder for taking straight with water or capsules. And then this gravelly stuff, you, the rougher stuff you use for making a tea. Now what I do normally is I just take half a teaspoon of this, put it in water and drink it straight. Now for some of you who don't like the taste, I'm gonna show you how to put it in a capsule here. So uh, got some capsules here. I use a double O size, or like 007. Anyway, so then what I do is I just scoop the stuff into the capsules, close it up, and there we go. We got a capsule with powder in it. And then you can just fill up a jar with these and just use them whenever you're ready to use them. Now, in this case, this is manzanita. This is for kidney infections, bladder infections, and urinary tract infections. A couple of these, three times a day, you're good to go. You can probably wipe it out within the first day. The, um, the silk tassel, this is for, um, for menstrual cramps. You take one of these capsules, your, your menstrual cramps are gone for a whole 10 hours. That's, this, I mean, it's amazing. Nature has so much power. You don't have to go to the pharmacy. You don't have to have chemicals. You don't have to have poisons to, to hide these symptoms. Matter of fact, forget hiding the symptoms. How about getting rid of the cause? That's what these are for. That's what plants are for, to help you live the way nature intended. This is the way life is supposed to be. It's that simple. This didn't cost me anything, except maybe like one penny of electricity. So anyway, I hope you guys learned a lot from this. You can get more on my Free Food and Medicine the DVD set or the new Free Living DVD set. It shows you what plants are good for what. And uh, you can make tea from it. You can just eat it straight off the plant or you can make powder out of it. Or just, I mean, put it in your salad. There's a million ways to take it. The best way to take this stuff to get the most effect out of it is actually take it on an empty stomach a half an hour before you eat. If you take it with your food, you're actually knocking down the power of the plant. But if it's too intense for you, it's, if it's too nasty for you, then take it with the food. But if you really want the most effect, take half a teaspoon in water, chug it down three times a day, a half hour before you eat. See you next time.